color formula for this video is pretty simple. It's a 9NV 5 volume. Uh, this is a Joyco Demi hair color. It's got a gel-like consistency. Also, I'm using the uh, Joyco Color Intensity Peach Tone uh, on the bottom. So what I want to do to create uh, the technique for this cut that I'm doing, um, this one's going to be more of like a shaggy long bob. So I wanted to create a really deep triangle uh, section on the very top, which is going to be the 9NV. And then I'm going to paint the peach tone all over the bottom. Now this um, this particular guest was set up with a current root already. So you can see that there's a shadowy root involved. So it's great for a client that's looking for something fun, something new. Um, if you needed to paint that root on because they have gray hair, you could always do that and then paint whatever tone you wanted throughout the ends. Always want to make these techniques salon friendly. But because there's already a root and there isn't gray in this uh, situation, I'm just going to paint the peach all the way through. Now this peach tone is really going to pop underneath um, that triangle, but also know that I know I'm going to cut this hair shorter. So if I wasn't going to cut this hair shorter, I'd do a little more blending, probably wouldn't do all that peach on the bottom and then have that blonde on top because I wouldn't want it to just poke out of the bottom throughout the entire color. If that's your thing, that's cool. But for me, I would like to break it up. If I was going to keep her hair long, I'd probably do different vertical straps with the technique. Probably go 9 and V, scalp to ends, and then do peach, uh, strap of peach, and then do 9 and V, scalp to ends again, um, just to add a little bit of dimension to the color. Because I'm going to cut it short, um, I'm doing the peach underneath because I don't want it to get lost. I want it to be really fun. So I'm painting that all the way through the entire bottom of the head. Joyco Intensity is awesome. It's a very conditioning color. Um, it saturates really well. It's also got glitter in it, which was a pretty fascinating thing to me. Not really sure um, what glitter is doing in there. I'm guessing just for the fun of it. Um, because it doesn't stay in obviously when the color is done. So now I go in with the 9NV throughout the entire top section. It's really just toning it out, it adds a really nice smoky feel to it, um, violety hue uh, on the top, and I paint that through the entire thing. And that's pretty much the technique. It's super simple, um, but also know that there could be more work involved if you have a different root situation. So if there is gray, then I'd go with the dimensional deposit, paint the root, paint the peach on, and then do the, the 9NV on the top as well. So I wouldn't change a whole lot, uh, but depending on what their uh, situation was. So I section that up, let it process for 20 minutes, and then I get my end result. Um, I'm gonna go through with the uh, wand and curl it up so you can see that kind of come to life. You'll also see the haircut. If you wanna see this full haircut, go to fseondemand.com and you can watch the full collection. Uh, three colors, three dry haircuts, uh, including this one. You can check it out on there. So I use the Joyco uh, Beach Shake. It's a texture spray. I sprayed it in, add a ton of texture and life to it. You can see how that color comes to life with the cut. Um, hope you liked the video. Thanks for watching. Uh -huh.